Good morning, Grade Twos. Thank you for coming into the handwriting lesson again and for working hard and mastering these cursive letters and the cursive reading skills that you so desperately need later on in your lives and even right now. Because from Grade 4 onwards, you are going to get an opportunity to write all your work in cursive. So, remember that? If you learn to write cursive properly, it's going to make your writing so much faster and your thinking so much better. Today I want to ask you, is it important to work hard every day? Well, the Bible teaches us in Proverbs 22 verse 29 that a man that is diligent and skillful can stand before kings. And that is so true. If you're a hard worker and you get good at what you do, you will always have an opportunity to do that job and to do it well and maybe you will be able to help others as well and in this world we are not here for ourselves we're here for everybody else also so let us pray let's pray for everybody and let's give the day to jesus father god i bring our country before you i bring our leaders before you and i bring the agape learners to you today and the teachers and I pray that you bless and help us all to work hard and to become skillful and diligent. In Jesus' name, Amen. Right, so here we go. Um, we are going to read the cursive letters, the phonetic letters in cursive. And there they are. A, B, K, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M. O, P, Q, R, S, T, A, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So you all know that when you learn to read and when you are trying to figure out new words, it's best to read them in phonetic, the phonetic sounds because they will help you to pronounce new words properly. Um, here's the letters, the, the message for today. There's actually a, a hidden message in this. T, H, E, D, M, A, N, Man, W, H, O, H, U, E, S, E, S, D, E, L, E, G, E, N, T, Diligent. Diligent. Diligent means a hard, faithful worker. And, and, g, a, a, d, good, k, a, n, can, st, a, n, d, stand, up, up, the man who is diligent that's your big word for today and good can stand up right so keep it up keep up the hard work and keep on practicing make always sure make sure that you practice more than what you have to remember what i always said more is better so now we're back to the cursive handwriting and uh, you guys got a speech. You know you have to work on the, your speech about bees. So guess what we're going to practice writing today. Okay, so we're going to practice the, the call back letter. Go back and away. Go back and away. Straight and away. Straight down and away. Straight down. And away, straight down, and away. Guys, please remember that you have to do your, um, you have to push your page up on the right hand side. When you write with your right hand and on the left hand side, if you write with your left hand. So we're going to, there's the, the, the L pattern. Um, also, make sure that you are holding your pencil correctly. Remember, we pinch it at the back. We have the tall finger curling under. 
and then we move forward there we go so we are going to now write the b again let's do it b away up down round up down around away down round away down round away down round away down round away down up away around down up and away that first one didn't come out so nicely whoopsie there we go there um, now we're going to write a word and this is a very important word because it's about your speech I hope you all know about the speech if you don't know yet ask mom and dad to tell you there's a finger space up back around down up and see then I make my bucket a little bit deeper so I can put the head of the air in there can you see that and away and it says B there we go up back around down up down to put the air in and it says B B B <laughs> Right, a B is one of the most, it is actually, I think, the most important insect. Not that we like to choose our favorites, but if they're not there, plants cannot be fertilized and grow, and then that breaks the whole food chain. So let's keep going. There we go, back around, back around. That's the A pattern again. You see? Back around back around back down away 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 smaller round smaller round smaller round smaller round and away always fill up your entire line and do more lines the more you practice you better get but don't rush it don't rush it and make sure that you do them correctly. There's a right and a wrong way of doing it. So look carefully, see what it looks like. Check to see if my work and your work looks the same. If it's not looking the same, you might have to practice some more or ask an adult to assist you. You could even WhatsApp me and ask me to help you as well. Have a lovely day and continue to work hard. See you next time.